All right, so welcome back. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to just do a quick, just, I guess, update on some of the other ThinkPads that uh, I use or have been using. Uh, a couple of these I've only mentioned maybe a, a couple of times in the video, but I just figured I'd talk about them since I have done a few things since the last time um, I've actually put them on my channel. The first one I actually want to start with is the one that I actually did kind of like a little series on, and this was my uh, T430. So this was my project that I used to try to make it capable of rendering uh, 4K smoothly. Uh, of course, never really got there. Eventually, I switched to the uh, X1 Extreme that I have sitting over there, Generation 1. But needless to say, uh, if you look at where I left off last with this computer, of course, I updated the screen. I actually uh, changed a few other things like the processor. Uh, but since then, the only thing that I've done is I upgraded the operating system. And the main reason why I did that is because it was one running Windows 7. And I actually was a fan of Windows 7. I'm not necessarily a fan of Windows 10. However, Microsoft decided to stop supporting that particular operating system. So therefore, uh, I actually went ahead and just upgraded it to Windows 10. So that's really what I'm running on it right now. Um, haven't, hasn't really been getting used as much um, as I've been using my X1 Extreme since that is actually my primary, uh, primary video editing rig. However, I do have all the same things on this particular laptop to include CyberLink. So in a pinch, if I need to, I can still use this rig. But other than that, really haven't done much. Once again, you can see that it's still sitting on the dock that I actually reviewed and it's been performing well. Uh, moving right along to my X250. So this particular laptop, um, you actually saw it on my channel when I did a comparison in boot up speeds between this laptop with the SSD running Windows 10 versus this one, uh, the T430, back when I still actually had, uh, didn't put a solid state drive on it. So it had a hard drive and it was running uh, Windows 7. And of course, this laptop was a lot faster. Well, the X250, the only real change I've made, and by the way, this is not a video editing laptop in any uh, shape, form, or fashion, but what I primarily use it for is to just like surf the internet, or if I'm going to a coffee shop, this is a really lightweight laptop to keep with me. I have the extended nine cell battery, so it runs for a extremely long time. Uh, the only thing I've changed on it is the operating system. I actually, because I took this one to Windows 10, I like having a, an option to Windows 10 in general since I already had that on my X1 as well. So I actually took this laptop away from Windows 10 and I went back to Linux. So currently it's running Linux Mint 19.2, uh, the Cinnamon version. And I've run Linux before, I'm pretty familiar with it. Uh, Linux Mint is generally my favorite distro. So that's the main reason why I chose it. I really enjoy Linux Mint and especially the Cinnamon uh, Mint 19.2. Uh, the only issue I've actually had with it, and this is something that I've got to spend more time on, is the Bluetooth is not that reliable, uh, which is weird, just because I know that it's not my system, because I've never had any issues with Bluetooth uh, before, I upgrade it. And then what it actually does is the it'll connect, but it just won't stay connected. Eventually, over time, it starts to like drop out. So I'm going to have to spend some time researching you know, what's wrong. And I did try to reload some drivers, do a few other things that were recommended in the uh, Linux Mint forum, and it still didn't sort the issue. If I can't seem to get it sorted, what I might try to do is maybe add another distro, uh, take a minute off and put something else on just to see if uh, I can at least get it to where it's actually reliable. And generally when I'm using Bluetooth with this one, I am solely using it for, um, oh, let me see. Really, I'm just using the headset, uh, headphones is what I should say, not really anything else. So that's about it with this one. Once again, I still have it on the dock. The dock is actually working out perfectly. I love having docks for these two, and I really wish I had a dock for this old fella. So this one, I just had brief mentions in one of my videos about this, this particular laptop. This was actually my first uh, IBM ThinkPad. I bought it, oh gosh, it was probably back in 2005, I believe. I think I was going to school still, and... Uh, it's an X60S, and the main reason why I bought this laptop was because of the ridiculous runtime. At the time, I believe it was Notebook Magazine. They had an extended battery in this thing, and they turned some settings down, but they got like 19 to 20 hours of runtime out of this thing, which is still really impressive today. Um, you'll notice that I don't have a battery in here, and mainly because the battery is kaput. So my plan right now, because I can't seem to find a new battery, 
is to take apart the battery that I had in here and to just rebuild it myself. And it's actually something that people do. I normally prefer not to because it's easy enough to pick up a replacement battery for most of my laptops, but this one has reached the point in its age where that's actually not necessarily an option. So yeah, I'm looking at possibly doing that next. And I'll, if requested, I'll put up, I might put up a tutorial. I say might because there's enough of those about rebuilding laptop batteries. YouTube doesn't necessarily need another one. But uh, otherwise, this thing has been great for the entire time. I mean, keep in mind how long I've had it. Um, and it's done wonderfully. Uh, matter of fact, so much so that I've stayed with the ThinkPad family. And I, the only thing I will say that probably puts this laptop above these other two is these chiclet style keyboards to me is just far superior. I love typing on this. I just love everything about it. The design, pretty robust. I eventually broke a corner off here, but uh, the polycarbonate, I believe is also uh, magnesium as well. Like I said, it's got water ports. It, it does every or did everything I needed it to do. And actually on this, I have, uh, okay, let me see. What version of Windows was I running? Windows, it wasn't seven. It was before seven. I'll have to think about it and it'll come back to me eventually. Um, oh, sorry, Windows XP Pro. Th that's what I was actually running on this. But what I also did is because it's very easy to swap out the, uh, the hard drive here, I actually have another hard drive that I clone and I have a version of Linux Mint for this device as well. It's an older version of Linux Mint because I just don't think 19.2 would run really well on this. And generally I just swap those out interchangeably. So yeah, this laptop is still pretty awesome to me. It's probably one of my favorites because once again, it kind of got me started down the ThinkPad path. Um, frankly, I think right now, probably my next things that I'm gonna do really will involve rebuilding the battery in this particular laptop and then sorting the issue in my X250 just to kind of figure out uh, you know, what's going on there. But other than that, I think that's about it. If you got any questions about the T430 or the dock, X250 or the dock, X60S or maybe possibly the upgrade that I'm going to be doing. I shouldn't say upgrade, but the maintenance really. Uh, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, click like, subscribe, and I think that's about it. So Agent Fit signing out.